So if you were watching the Emmys on Sunday night, you might have noticed that when Game Change won for Best Miniseries or Movie, producer Tom Hanks was sporting a funny yet familiar looking mustache. That's because right now he's filming Saving Mr. Banks, where he plays none other than Mr. Walt Disney himself. Yes, miraculously, in the 40 plus years since Disney's death, this American icon's life has never been explored on any screen, big or small. So perhaps the studio that bears his name and honors his legacy has decided not to take it a look for granted, finally turning their own camera on the man behind the mouse. Now, as is the style these days, Saving Mr. Banks is not a straight biography, but captures a certain period in Disney's life, or in this case, Quest. See, Disney first got the idea to make Mary Poppins into a feature film back in 1938, but at first author P.L. Travers refused. It took him 20 years to convince her, and then she was infamously unhappy with the results. But the public wasn't. Mary Poppins was the highest grossing film of 1968, beating out The Sound of Music, Goldfinger, and My Fair Lady. It was also nominated for 13 Academy Awards and won five of them, including Best Actress for Poppins herself. However, as I said, Travers hated the film. In fact, she hated it so much that despite Disney's new round of repeated requests, she would not allow another one of her Mary Poppins books to be made into a movie. It will be interesting to see if the Disney studio, clearly not impartial here, will work to portray both parties in this incredibly successful yet dysfunctional collaboration. After all, while the studio certainly doesn't want to tarnish the image of their figurehead, he was a complicated man who didn't share the squeaky clean image of his creations. Hey, he was real, and he worked in Hollywood. And it's that very real man that has inspired many fans of his work, myself included, to read about him. I highly recommend Walt Disney, an American original by Bob Thomas. Now, if the Disney studio wants to get really bold, that's a movie plenty of people would love to see, evidenced by the excitement over this recent fake movie poster by a French artist. And who has he cast as a young Disney? That would be, brilliantly, Ryan Gosling. But again, these snapshot biographies are all the rage right now, so we'll see how Tom Hanks fares. He stars opposite Emma Thompson as P.L. Travers, and interestingly, Colin Farrell as Travers' father. See, it's called Saving Mr. Banks because Travers wanted so desperately to save her own struggling father, who was also a banker but couldn't, so she saved him on the page. And the movie hints that Disney wanted to make the film because it reminded him of his own relationship with his father. And on top of that, I'd like to add that this movie saved my father as well. When I first sat down to write this episode, inspired simply by Tom Hanks' mustache, to me, Mary Poppins was just this movie that my father watched when I was a kid, at least once every week, for almost a decade. My mother, my sister, and I just couldn't understand how we could watch the same movie over and over again. But then, as I thought about it just now, writing this, it dawned on me that my father watched this movie every week because he was going through a very difficult time himself professionally and therefore personally, something I only learned when I got older, and Mary Poppins cheered him up. He never wanted us to know he was worried, and even this week, when I asked him if this was true, he simply looked at me knowingly and smiled. So thank you both Travers and Disney for cheering up my dad and giving him the strength to soldier on and perhaps doing the same for a lot of dads. And if Saving Mr. Banks can capture that, then it will be as good as a full biography or even better after all.